Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ryan. Today I'm pretty excited because this is one I've been looking forward to uh, getting in and covering. This is the Maker's Mark. This is the wood finishing series. This is the, uh, the heart release of 2024. And I've heard a lot of very positive things about this bottle from uh, whiskey writers, reviewers, YouTubers, etc. But it, it seems to me, from some of the stuff that I've been seeing and reading, that some people are like, oh my gosh, this is incredible. And then other people are like, this is terrible, don't buy it. So I'm seeing if I'm going to maybe split the difference or if I'll fall off the log with, with uh, one of the extremes here. But I've only seen pretty extreme things said about it myself. Now, one thing I do like about this bottle is that the SRP, you're looking at, uh, I think it's like 65, 70 bucks. Uh, you may not find it for that. I've seen a lot of people saying they picked it up for 75. I've seen some people say they picked it up for, uh, you know, 99 bucks as well. Uh, I think I was right in there at 80, uh, 85, something like that. So a little bit on the higher end, just a little bit over the SRP, but that's okay. Uh, bottling looks great on it. It's very clean. This is Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey, barrel finished with 10 virgin oak staves. So it's the um, oak staves that are dipped down into the barrel. And the proof comes in at 111.7. And the staves that are used are um, toasted French oak staves. So it's that nice French oak that's really well known for those brown sugar notes and really tannic dry oak that's kind of also sweet and vanilla-y. So, I'm gonna crack the seal on this. Oh no, all the wax came off. No, it's such a cool look when the wax stays on. The whole thing came off. Well, you know, you win some, you lose some. We'll get it poured, and we'll see how she is. Has a beautiful color to it. My shirt is bright red, so it's probably throwing that off. There you go. Now you can see it. Beautiful color to this, doesn't it? Kind of rolling it around in the glass. It's not leaving any really thick, viscous, uh, drips or runs coming down the side of the glass. Uh, just a nice thin oily coating, but that's sort of what I've come to expect from weeded bourbons anyways. Let's get in here and nose it, huh? Man, I get hit with a whole lot of vanilla on the nose, like uh, French vanilla ice cream. And I'm also getting this uh, sort of like a cinnamon oatmeal note. I really like to get, you know, just a, the Quaker's brown sugar oatmeal. And then I sprinkle in a little bit of cinnamon into it before I cook it up. It smells like that to me. It's like cinnamon and brown sugar oatmeal. And quite a bit of oak in the nose as well. And I get what they're saying when, I mean, they put it right here on the bottle. It says caramels, chocolate, and maple are the notes that they share right there on the label. On the nose, I'm not getting too much in the way of chocolate, but I definitely can see where they're coming from with that maple note, no doubt. All right, let's try it. Cheers. Tastes like a stack of maple pancakes, straight up. A healthy dose of cinnamon on the palate as well, late in the palate. Very sweet right up front. That's where I'm getting all those vanillas. And this great maple note that just runs through the whole thing. Tail end of it is when those French oak staves are really obvious that that was a part of the finishing process because it gets really dry and tannic, but it's also sweet oak. It's it's dry, but it's not, it's not in a way that detracts from the sweetness of what you're getting on the palate either. And I think that's probably because I think this is, uh, correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section, but I don't think that they put anything younger than six years in this bottle. So it's had a lot of time to be in contact with that oak and pull out those vanillins, which is probably why we're getting a lot of dryness from the French oak, because that's what it's known for. But we're also keeping the brown sugar and the vanilla. Those two things are in uh, pretty good balance on this sip. There's so much maple on the palate. I have had like maple syrup barrel finished whiskeys before. And this reminds me of those, but it doesn't taste cheap. And they got that flavor without just directly putting it in a maple syrup barrel. <laughs> it's a little bit more authentic, I think. Mm. All in all, I think that's a really great sip. I like that a lot. You know, there's a lot of whiskeys out there that do a ton of oak on the palate. I think of the uh, Elijah Craig 18 year, uh, Knob Creek 18 year. I've got both of those on my shelf and they are just oak bombs, but it's too much. It's like there's nothing else going on other than oak. I would rather have this at 80 bucks than those for 200 bucks, you know what I mean? Because you get a ton of oak, but it is in good balance with some other great tasting notes as well. So it's not so one dimensional. It's offering a, a much broader spectrum of very palatable flavors on the palate. So for me and my money, I would take this over some of those longer aged products like, like that right there and that right there. 10 out of 10 times. 
So if I were to come in and give this a score per my scale, on like a new, give it a numerical value here, uh, with the, the scoring system that I tend to use here on the channel, I think that I will probably land at a flat 8.0. I think that's where I'm gonna land this thing, flat 8.0. I don't think that it's pushing up into like the fantastical uh, regions for, for some whiskeys, but it's definitely very far above average. I think it's I think it's excellent whiskey, especially at the price. I think that's uh, one of the best things about it is you're getting that kind of a flavor profile off of something that's maybe going to put you back 70, 80 bucks, maybe even cheaper if you're lucky. I think SRP is 65 and I have talked to people who picked this bottle up for $65, which is great. It's a steal. But yeah, 8.0, it's just flat out excellent whiskey. That's where I'm going to score this baby today. So do I think that it was overhyped by other channels or reviewers and whis whiskey writers? Um, I don't think so, just because everyone has their own palates and everybody has the things that they prefer. I think that uh, at least some of the people that, that I saw who were raving about this bottle, I think they were honest about it for sure. I don't think they overly sensationalized anything. And I think that uh, what I know of some of them is that they really do tend to gravitate towards things that have a very strong oak presence. They like things like those maple notes as well. For me, if there was anything that I would say uh, might elevate this just a little bit is maybe a little bit more of the, uh, the bassy notes like your molasses. We got maple syrup in there for sure, but some of those rich molasses notes I think would really elevate this and really would stay on par with the profile that already exists with it. So it's not adding in something that was offbeat or uh, unintended. I think a, a good molasses -y note is really on par with sort of the breakfast notes that we're getting off of this in general. But I think some of that richness, those deep, rich flavors, would really elevate this even more. So that's where I'm at with that. Hey, thank you so much for watching the video and the review. Really appreciate each and every one of you. Big shout out to the Patreon supporters who uh, funded that bottle for me to pick it up. Uh, I couldn't do this channel without you guys, so really appreciate y'all. Speaking of the Patreon group, if you are uh, in the Patreon Premium Lounge in the Discord, uh, keep an eye. I think tonight I'm going to run a raffle. So if you are uh, at the $10 tier or higher, uh, I will just automatically enter you into the raffle. The people who are grandmasters in the Patreon group, I'll put your name in the raffle twice. So the winner of the raffle will get my full inventory of everything that's opened on my shelves right now, as well as some of the samples that I've been sent that I've never even tasted before in my life. And uh, whoever wins the raffle will have the honor of selecting the five bottles that will be in my live stream later this week. I will blind the five bottles that you pick. I'll have my wife pour them. And then I'll live stream myself going through the blind and I have to sort of test my palate. I can't fake anything because it'll be live on stream. Uh, but I'll have to, I'm, I'm not going to try and guess what the whiskey is. Like, oh, that's Maker's Mark. You know what I mean? The goal is to A, guess the category. Is it bourbon, rye, American single malt, scotch, Irish, whatever. Uh, and then guess the age and then the price point. So category, age, and how much the bottle costs. So I'll take a stab at all three of those things for all five of the bottles, and we'll see how good I do, but it should be a good time. Uh, so yeah, so I'll run that raffle tonight. Until then, take care of yourselves, everybody. Thanks so much for tuning into the video today. If this is not your first time by the channel, hey, maybe consider hitting the subscribe button. Stick around, kick your shoes off, stay a while. Cheers, my friends. May you live richly and get better with age, and I hope to catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.